oh, can I do this? This is all a bit scary. Um, I'm not very good. I'm not a trained actor. But I think this is, my message is important, so I'm going to jump over my shadow, as you say in German, um, <laughs> and talk to you about this. As I said, I'm going to talk about art and what makes a work of art a work of art. And of course, I'm talking about painting because I'm an artist, I'm a painter, um, and artworks in the form of paintings is what really moves me. I've grown up looking at art from a very young age and a museum is still my favourite place to be, really. Um, I could dive for hours into an art museum with my sketchbook and work from the art there. So what makes a work of art a work of art? A work of art is made of three things. Colour, which is light, light and dark, shade, colour. Form, which is space. You, be, you breathe in and out, right? So take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Did you see how much air goes into your lungs? And how much air comes out of your lungs? So you can feel how much space you have inside of yourself. And this is one of the reasons why we as humans react so strongly to space, form, depth, rooms. And of course, the third one is movement. A work of art has to move or be very still. This is my painting, Depths of Thought. It's oil on canvas. And it shows all three things, I think demonstrates them quite well. There is colour, though the overall tone, it's not colourful. I don't want a painting to be garish. I want a painting to give a feeling of a colour. That doesn't mean it has to be only that colour, but it has to have a resonance. And the resonance, the colour that res resonates here, is probably greens. But there's also a bit of red and so on and so forth. Space. There's space. You can move. You can Things are come up close to you and you can move into the distance. It's expressive, I would say, wouldn't you? So it moves. And to do this, to paint like that, it's taken me a long time, I can tell you. Um, you need to, I work by a balancing. I can't think of the picture in my brain and think, oh, I want to paint this picture. This is exactly what I want to paint right now. I can't do that because the picture you think of in your head will never be the picture you see on your canvas. Simply because the picture in your head is spirit. It's not material. And the picture you paint on your canvas is material. You're working with oil paints, with a paintbrush, with a canvas. Therefore, the two will never ever be exactly the same. What you can start with is a feeling. I want to create a feeling. You don't know what it's going to look like. You don't know what's going to happen. Sometimes I end up with pictures that look completely different from what I started out with. Because maybe when I started painting, I felt differently about something than when I finished it. Get it? But it always has to have colour, form and movement. It has to be, have a sense of play. It has to be a bit fun. Really? Don't we need some fun these days? And it has to be beautiful. I live here in Switzerland, in the north of Switzerland, where all the beautiful buildings at the moment, it feels like for me, are getting torn down and replaced with rather ugly, very boring housing that can house more people. Instead of taking the beautiful old buildings and thinking about how can we renovate them and make them more accessible, make them available to more families, they rip them down and build a new concrete structure. 
I think we need more beauty. We need more beauty to remind us there's more than the everyday because we need more than the mundane. We are more than the mundane. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Cheers. Thank you for listening.